OK, let's compare answers for the mock exam. I hope you had fun. Uh, so first we'll compare answers and then I will share some strategies. Uh, and then I have an, an announcement to make. So one mistake per line. Circle the mistake. Joe Alwyn. Appeared. This is in the past. Wednesday evening at the British GQ Men of the Year Awards at London's Royal Opera House. The first public sighting of the actor. Formerly. Known as Taylor Swift's long term boyfriend. Uh, formerly means in the past. It's an adjective. Sorry, it's an adverb, so L-Y. Uh, since Swift went public with. Her. Relationship. With professional football player Travis Kelsey this fall. Alwyn, who was romantically. Linked. Passive voice, Bei Dong. Linked to Swift from 2016 to 2022, did not appear to have participated in any interviews. Comma space, not space comma. Xian Dou Lian in the Unsurprising given his reputation for playing things close to the vest. This was only the second time Alwyn had been spotted since he and. This is a name Swift. A capital S. Taylor Swift. Ended their. Relationship. Two people, one relationship. Is it a period? Yes, OK. Under the pseudonym William Bowery, Alwyn co-wrote several tracks with Swift on her album Folklore, oh sorry, on her Folklore and Evermore albums, earning him coveted Grammy winner status When this already happened, it's not if. When Folklore won Album of the Year in 2021. As as for Swift, she has 12 Grammy wins and is the only female solo artist to. Of one album of the year three times. OK, so do you have questions about these 10 mistakes? OK, so now for the strategy part. I. Th these will apply to the mock exam and the final exam. I took this from an actual news article. Right? I did not write it. I did not ask chat GPT to write it. Um, I did adapt it for our needs. It was a bit longer and it was a bit more complicated. It says there's only one error per line. So if you think you see more than one mistake in one line, choose the wrongest one, the one that feels the most wrong. You'll also notice that each mistake is a different kind of mistake. This is active and passive voice. 
This is adjective or adverb. This is pronouns. OK, so this is also like um, it should be a participle in as fancy, not the verb, right? Link is a verb. Linked is a participle. This is punctuation. This is capitalization. This is uh, singular or plural nouns. This one is um, what do you call them? Conditionals. Uh, right? You should know that this is not conditional. This actually happened. This one is um, preposition. And this one is infinitives and gerunds. So if for one line, you're not sure which is the real mistake, you can compare with the other lines. If it's a mistake that you think is happening again somewhere else, one of those is probably wrong. I'm trying to cover as many different kinds of mistakes in a single exam. Um, also, it says if you find the error and circle it, that's two points. If you write the correct version, that's another two points. So even if you don't know the correct version, if you know that it's wrong, you can still circle it and get those points. So for example, this one, you should be able to tell that at is incorrect. Even if you're not sure what the correct word is, if you circled at, you still get two points. Right. The actual final exam, I think is slightly easier. If this is like four out of five, the final exam is like 3.5 out of five. So slightly easier. Um, depending on how well you did today, you might consider doing the bonus assignment on Moodle, Javan Zoye. If you're not sure whether you will be okay on the final exam. The final exam, just like this one, is worth 40 points. These are your semester final points. So each one you get right, you earn another. Uh, each circle you get right, you earn another two points for your final grade. Each correction that you do correctly is another two points for your final grade. You know, be optimistic. Use adding, don't use subtracting. OK, so do you have questions about the exam, this one or the final exam in two weeks? Questions? OK, so the announcement. Now that you know what it feels like to take this kind of exam, I want to ask you about next semester. Next semester, do you want to do a midterm group presentation like this semester? Or do you want to do a midterm exam like this? There are pros and cons. If you choose to do an exam, it will be harder than the presentation, but the final exam will only cover half of the semester. So for the final exam, you only have to study the second half of the semester. The grading will be the same. Uh, midterm, whether it's presentation or exam, will be worth 20%. Final exam will be 40%, and attendance will be 40%. It's just, do you want to do a group presentation or a midterm exam? Let's vote. I'll give you seven seconds to think about it. Actually, do you want me to say that in Chinese? Yeah, OK. So, you有了这种考试经验之后,你们下学期其中想要维持分组报告还是想要改成其中考? Uh, 缺点当然就是期中考比较难，但是优点是如果有期中考的话，期末考范围对折，只会考下半学期的内容。配分都一样，呃，期中不管是报告还是考试都占百分之二十，期末考四十，然后出席率四十。
，最单纯是分组报告还是想要纸笔测验？给你们七秒钟想一下，等一下来投票。Okay, if you want to keep doing the group presentation, please raise your hand. If you want to do an exam for the midterm, midterm exam, please raise your hand. Okay, so everybody who's not voting, you are letting other people decide your fate. 没有举手的人就是让同学帮你决定命运喽。OK, so next semester we'll have two exams. Thank you, everyone. Next week we're watching a movie, and in two weeks we're doing the real final exam. Please be on time for the final exam.